You work with many people to run your business operation and rely on them as your team. Each one plays a unique part, requiring different levels of access within your organization. Team Manager helps you, farmers, businesses, dealers, to manage this with two main functions. One, setting up your staff's access, and two, setting up your partner's access. We'll use the example of Tim Bush from Bush Ag Services, who is just getting started with this process of setting up staff and partners. Bush Ag Services is a contractor providing services to their customers. To get started, Tim selects Team Manager in Tools and can check out his access. Tim is an administrator of the organization, so notice Organization Level 2 allows Tim to make all the changes shown in this video. First, let's set up staff, those who work in the organization. Bush Ag Services has employees with different roles, so Tim needs to add his staff, starting with Mike, who works as an agronomist for Bush Ag Services. Select the plus sign, Add to your team. Add staff. Type in Mike's email address. Then set Mike's access levels. Remember, this is the access Mike will have to Bush Ag Services organization. Equipment, people, fields, and jobs. Mike works as an agronomist, so he doesn't need high access to equipment or the ability to edit the organization or team. Select Finish and an email is sent to Mike asking him to log in and accept the invitation. If he doesn't have an MJD account, he can create one on the login page. It shows as pending in the team manager until Mike accepts the invitation. Now let's look at setting up partners. Often the organization providing the service requires some access to the client's organization. In this illustration we have Bush Ag Services supporting Joseph Schmidt's organization. The partnership can be initiated by either organization, but it's most common for Bush Ag Services to send a request to Joseph. Joseph can review and accept the request to grant his organization's access shared to Bush Ag Services organization. Bush Ag Services supports Joseph Schmidt, so Tim adds his customer Joseph. Tim clicks on the plus sign, add to your team, add partner. He selects request access from my partner to ask for access from Joseph whereas granting access to my partner would give access to Joseph for Bush Ag Services. Then Tim reads through each category. Equipment, organization, locations, and jobs, and requests the highest level access for each. Finally, Joseph Schmidt works almost exclusively with Mike and would like only Mike at Bush Farms to have the ability to access Joseph's organization content. Tim can set that up here. When Bush Farms employees log in, only Mike will see Joseph in the list of customers to support. No one else needs to access or will see anything from Joseph. So Tim assigns Mike to support Joseph Schmidt's organization. Tim now sees Joseph Schmidt in his partner list. It shows as pending until Joseph accepts the invitation. Joseph will be asked to approve the access levels requested and he can either accept or change the levels depending on his preferences.